Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is AI Behavior Tree Decorator, the cooldown node. This is a really simple node that's also a lot of fun to use, so let's cover how it works. Now our cooldown node basically only has two different parameters. We're going to have the cooldown time, and then if the observer aborts. Now your observer aborts is only going to have none and lower priority, because this isn't something that really checks to see if a condition is met. The point of the cooldown node is to prevent a branch from running for a certain amount of time after it's gone ahead and successfully ran properly. So let's see how this works. I have our cooldown node set to 5 seconds. And I have a wait node underneath it for 3 seconds. So the normal execution here without the cooldown node would be it runs from our root through our selector, our sequence runs, which will be wait for three seconds, and then the whole thing's gonna fire again. So we're gonna continually firing off this task every three seconds because we have a wait set up. Well, let's say this task was, for example, firing a bullet or looking for the player. Maybe you want it to only look for the player every second so that way it's not constantly having eagle eye. You have a more, easy, you have an easier enemy so it's, aggro check is delayed. So let's say you have this set up at three seconds. But let's say after it looks, it gets bored and it's no longer going to be alert and it's going to do nothing for five seconds. Well, that's what our cooldown node is for. So what happens here when we run this is we go through our normal setup. The wait node runs, which means three seconds it's going to wait and then it fires back up to our root. Now the difference here is once this successfully finishes, our cooldown node fires. Now it will lock and return a failure for this branch when it fires for the duration you set up as a cooldown time. So as you notice, we wait three seconds. It goes back to the top. Our cooldown fires. It locks this branch for five seconds, and then it allows execution after five seconds. And that will continue indefinitely because that's what the cooldown node is for. It is a cooldown. That's it. Like I said, this was a really simple node. It's intended for locking off branches, and you can use it as a way to maybe spice up the variety of things, give your players a little bit of breathing time, have built-in cooldowns in your AI itself without resorting to actually needing a service to restrict branches from running. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.